Good evening, everyone. In this video today, let's ask what do they think, feel, want, and intend from you. I have five different tarot card decks in front of me. Number one, two, three, four, and five. <clears throat> if you'd like to have this reading, please think of a person and choose your deck. And take your time, please. Okay, are you ready to have your reading? Okay then, let's start with the deck number one. This is our deck number one. Okay. What do the think, feel, want, and intend towards you today. Okay, so what do they think, feel, intend, want, and intend towards you today? What do they think of you, Ace of Pentacles? Well, first of all, I think it's money. It's um, what do they think of you? It's a financial relationship. It's work relationship. It's um, that sort of thing. It can be that you're connected <clears throat> through some work, job, or basically some new project, maybe some documents, something like that. It can be that they see you as an opportunity to earn money from, yeah, like maybe you are the um, the um, the boss, you know, at work, and maybe um, basically, yeah, I would say money in short, and it can be also that there's something new about your relationship, like when there is a new contract you meet, so... They might uh, view you as someone associated with that sort of experience, like uh, with the earning the money experience, yeah. But they definitely see you as something positive in their life, yeah. Something positive that brings something of value, you know. Okay, so now... Also an opportunity, yeah, like you are an opportunity, financial and perhaps um, emotional, etc. Now, what do they feel about you, Page of Swords? Well, Page of Swords is slightly an emotional card. Usually for me, what do they feel about you? It's formal communication, it's documents, it's writings, it's some sort of formalities. Uh, when they are with you, they expect themselves to speak formally with you to be formally with you like with a boss so it's kind of uh, confirming this card in some cases it can mean that they what do they feel about you a little bit of a conflicting feeling can come here what do they feel about you Maybe uh, if you look at this figure in the card, someone who gives orders, someone who gives, uh, who talks, who, who talks very formally and very strictly, yeah. So like maybe they feel about you that you are um, basically uh, ordering them to do things like showing with a the finger there, there, do this, do this, you know, that sort of thing going on. Okay, so next, let's see, what do they want from you? Okay, we have the Nine of Swords. What do they want from you? Do they want to actually... Um, 
Well, basically, I don't think they particularly want anything from you, except uh, what do they want from you? I feel that something with their mind, like uh, to have a peace, peaceful mind, or or to avoid some sort of problem, or to you know help them with solving some problem, help, helping to deal with their, let's say, some sort of depression or something like that. Or what do they want from you? But uh, the feeling is going that they don't particularly want anything. They just want uh, to be calm and don't think about the negative stuff. Yeah. Let's see now, what is it intentions towards you? And it's the Two of Cups. Well, it's friendship, it's uh, respect, it's bonding, it's peace, it's uh, good things. It can be a romantic relationship in some cases. Um, intentions, so maybe they, they want to, to just, they feel all these things, yeah? Uh, let's see, it's work, situation perhaps, with the Ace of Pentacles. But uh, their intention is not to, to dislike you, their intention is not to hurt you. Um, whatever the feelings they're feeling, they want to still be polite and be nice and friendly and things like that. Maybe... They think that you don't like them in a way. What do they feel about you? There is some sort of stress going on. What do they feel about you? It's like, like I, either you're shouting at them or you're giving them orders or you're talking to them in a, a little bit rougher way, not like very polite and sweet. So they might feel that maybe you don't like them, you know. This card is very interesting for me. What do they want from you is basically... I'm pulling one more card to see. Five of Cups. Well, I feel... What do they want from you? They, I think, want to get away from their pain. So if they liked you somehow or you liked them or something but it didn't work out they want it to go away that pain that all worry that all stuff and uh, I feel they want to get back to being formal and um, normal <laughs> you know with you in this situation okay Okay, so this was a reading number one. Now let's move on to reading number two. And this is our deck number two. The question is, what do they think, feel, want and intend towards you today? What do they think, feel want, intend towards you today. What do you think about you? They might think that you're in a relationship, we have the lover's card. It might. They might think that you are uh, married. They might think that you're having an affair. There's some sort of romantic, maybe marriage, or maybe being in a relationship with someone, yeah? What do they think about you? It can be that they think about you as their spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, as the other half of the relationship as well. We'll see if two other cards, they should help us. Okay, so what do they feel about you? We're having the night of coins. What do they feel about you? Okay, so here it might be that they feel 
about you. Um, some sort of comfort, some sort of richness, uh, maybe that you are fine. What do they feel about you? Well, it can be that they feel about you is something to do with big finances again. Actually, it's changing because I think they think that you're in love with them. <clears throat> they feel that there is... Um, Basically, financial situation, yeah, again, business or big money, transactions, this and that, you know, something posh happening, some sort of look luxuries there. Yeah, so they don't feel like emotional thing that much. They feel something through things. Uh, they think about something rich. They f yeah. Now, what do they want from you? I think it's sex only, or control, they want to control you, they want you to be dependent on them, yeah, it can also be do what they want, and all these sexual things, they want your dependency on them, they enjoy that, um, they want pleasures, material pleasures, and it's actually very matching cards, yeah. And what is their intention towards you? And we have the Queen of Swords. It's very interesting. Now the intentions. Now it's either um, if they're married, it can be their wife. So they're not going to leave their wife because of you. Intentions are to listen to this woman. Intentions are to give their power to this other woman who has authority to them. And uh, what else intentions can I feel it's a person, 100%. So it's something to do with that other person. Listen to that other person, give priority to that other person, and with you, it's just work and money and um, financial, some sort of thing happening, yeah? It can be in addition to that sexual thing as well. Okay, so this was our reading number two, and let's move on to our reading number three now. This is our reading number three. The question is, what do they think, feel, want, and intend from you right now? What do they think, feel, want, and intend towards you right now? What do they think of you? They think that you're far away, that you're traveling, that you're a traveler, that basically you're not with them. They think about the distance, yeah? It can be if you're in the army, they think that you're an army person and that you're traveling with your job. Yeah, so whatever tra uh, travelers, traveling businesses, they can associate you with a distance. Like they feel the absence of you. What do they feel about you? It's indecision. Uh, they can, they are like stuck in between. They cannot make their own decision here. Uh, the feeling is, in their heart, they don't know what to do about you. It's like some sort of like postponement or like they're waiting for something. Maybe when you are back or or that sort of like they postpone the whole situation. They don't want to make any decisions, but they feel stuck in some way. Overall, it talks also about peaceful and friendly attitude towards the other person and a complete equality between two people. But it also talks about uh, they really don't know 
you know, what they feel. They cannot make up their mind. Even the scar talks about white and black horses. There is advantages and disadvantages about you and the situation with you. And they cannot make up their mind what is the best thing to do about you. Now, what is the, uh, what do they want from you? Well, they want love. They want you to be their woman, their girlfriend, their wife, their partner, whatever. They want just you, from you. They want your love. They want your beauty. They want your emotions. They want you all. And what is their intentions? Well, Three of Cups is, uh, the intention would be uh, to have a great time together. It can be uh, um, to have, um, you know, like be friends and have a party together. Maybe, uh, in some cases, it can mean kids. Yeah, because in this car we have kids here. So, having a great time, it can be having kids in some cases, if you're married or something. Um, in some cases, can be having an affair also. So, yeah, we have the situation here. And this was our reading number three. Now let's move on to our reading number four. And this is our reading number four. Yeah, let's ask, what do they think, feel, intend, want and intend towards you today? What do they think, feel, want from you, and intend towards you today? Okay, so, what do they think of you? Well, we have this uh, card that looks like poverty, I don't know, maybe they think you're a poor little girl, poor little boy, maybe uh, someone who doesn't have money, maybe someone who has been experiencing difficulties in their life, um, who is having some problems and something like that. They might see you as a secret lover, as a secret, um, some sort of a person like unhappy lover yeah it's my Romeo and Juliet card so someone who is like an outcast you know someone who doesn't belong there like maybe you are from a different again country maybe a different religion compared to your religion yeah maybe um, you are um, in some way different not people are not accepting you or at least you feel that way Maybe a rebel, you know, in your ways and in your views. Things like that. So there is this outcast feeling going. Now, what do they feel about you? What do they feel? It's work, it's business, it's uh, some crafts, maybe. Like um, earning the money, helping out, that sort of thing. Very practical feeling is there. So it's very interesting because they see you as poor and what they feel is what um, a boss feels to his employer, employee feels to his employer. Uh, no, employer feels, yeah. So basically we have this maybe work relationship where there's a class difference as well. Like one is a servant, one is the rich one. I'm kind of using that servant to earn the money. Okay, Okay. so let's uh, just see what do they want from you. We have the Ten of Wands. And what do they want from you? I feel like it's again talking about something about work. What do they want from you? It's like uh, maybe they want... from you to basically take the burden take the burden of them take them under your wing uh, help them somehow protect them somehow uh, 
give them something, bear with something, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, so I feel like um, maybe if it's difficult situation, if you really want that you be helpful to them. It's like a person in trouble. Maybe you are the person in trouble. I'm not getting it. So there is like a poor and poor one and a hero relationship. Like one is the victim and one is like a rescuer. That sort of relationship here. And in, in intentions. Intentions are basically... Uh, I think the um, loving intentions can be something to do with a child. Actually, we have a child here as well. So basically, to summarize it, we have uh, the a situation where they um, what do they think is basically they're sorry for you, for some reason. What do they feel about you is they want to help, yeah, some somehow, um, a little bit. The, because they're sincerely sorry for you, yeah? Now, what do they want from you is that you would take some sort of responsibilities, that you would not be afraid to get tired, to get dirty, to do some hard work. Yeah, I, I don't know what is this, but some sort of responsibility, some sort of, you have to struggle. They want you to struggle. They want you to work hard. And intentions are basically... They want to offer you their love, their feelings, and it shows a child. So in some way, if you're a married couple, it can make sense. A child, if you're not a married couple and don't have children, then you can talk just about some sort of love, um, some sort of nice gestures or some sort of like love letters or some flirt or just uh, love, you know, uh, for the other person, for you. So we have this situation here. Uh, you could have thought not only about romantic partner, you could have thought about your colleague, you could have thought about anyone, this question. So maybe for some people this will make sense. Okay, so let's move on now to our last tarot deck, our five, fifth tarot deck. Okay, this is our fifth deck, and uh, the question is, what do they think, feel, want, and intend from you today, towards you today? So what do they think about you? What do they feel about you? What do they want from you? And what do they intend towards you? So, what do they think about you? Again, we have the chariot, very interesting. Again, I'm feeling it's a distance, it's separation. If you think you're someone they are away from, someone far away from them also. What are the feelings about you? Uh, some sort of also uncomfortable feelings. Basically, they feel insecure or they feel shy, or they feel kind of um, uh, some sort of discomfort when they think about you, when they around you. Maybe they feel it's like the situation is unpleasant to think about. And they might feel that they, there's a very hopeless situation. Maybe it's a one-sided love, you know, sometimes. What do they feel about you? They feel some sort of pain, some sort of like... Um, limitation with them like that sort of feeling okay so let's move on what do they want from you and we have this uh, ten of cups they want love they want in some cases family they want dating they want permanence they want happiness yeah they want all the good things in many cases it's family it can be marriage in some cases visit you at home they want you to visit them at home, that sort of thing. Now, what are their intentions? 
Well, intentions here definitely is partnership, connection, maybe writing a letter, sending a letter to the other pl uh, country. I feel like you're very far away from them. And uh, maybe they're doubting whether they should or not, you know, but I feel that they're thinking about it. They want to, you know, think about uh, how to approach you, maybe how to contact you. In some cases, it can be a message. So, so yeah, in this case, I'm, we're having this situation. Just not sure why they're so feeling like uneasy when they think about you, when they feel. Look, I feel the... We have also these cards here. I think... How do they feel about you? I feel they cannot help it. They have conflicting feelings towards you. They are not letting themselves feel. They basically are uh, attracted to you, I feel. But they're trying to control it. They try not to show it. And that uh, conflict is shown as Eight of Swords. That sort of card where you kind of... Um, you know, trying not to feel. You're trying to resist to your feelings. Not, yeah, and it's very, making you very, not expanded, but the opposite of expanded, yeah. And they feel the, you make a difference in their life, you made some sort of difference, like the their life cannot be the same as it was before, before they met you, like, in some way, they can't, can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop feeling. They feel that they're dependent on you in some way, like obsessed with you or it's unhealthy for them, it's bad for them, you know. Like maybe they feel it's some sort of one-sided affair and the fact that it's one-sided affair is breaking their heart and therefore they feel it's not healthy for their self-confidence and overall... Okay, so we have this situation here um, with only one card per question. So I hope that um, this reading gave you some insight onto what's happening, perhaps only a little bit at least. And thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you sometime soon again. Have a great night, have a great day, bye-bye.